NASA's DART spacecraft successfully intercepted an asteroid this week, in case you missed it, completing its main objective, demonstrating a potential method for defending the planet from deadly space rocks in the near or distant future. And while DART was not able to take pictures of its moment of impact at more than 14,000 miles per hour, telescopes on Earth, some 7 million miles away, were watching, revealing a Spectacular burst of debris rising from the asteroid after that collision. So again, speaking to how successful that whole situation was. And to get more insight on this, we're joined by Dr. David Polishuk, the director of the Weizmann Institute's Observatory. A really uh, honored to have you with us today here. First of all, I want to know if you were uh, observing the impact with that telescope behind you there, or maybe another one at the observatory. But uh, in seriousness, um, I understand you had some part in the mission or the technology behind it here. Tell us, tell us about your involvement. Yeah, sure. Uh, first of all, I should say it was exciting to observe the impact uh, uh, at real time wow. with a similar telescope uh, to this one. Um, and as you said, we were at the desert uh, observing it. Um, my participation was, uh, I'm part of the investigation team uh, uh, following the mission. We designed astronomical observations uh, to learn uh, how the asteroid changed after after the impact. So we uh, designed the, the observations, we conducted them, we analyzed the data, because we want to see, did we succeed? Uh, was the asteroid, um, uh, uh, did we manage to move the asteroid away? Uh, or maybe it's only a matter of dust and you know, uh, debris that uh, was rising in the air and that's it. So th this is the stuff that we are measuring. So what ultimately was determined from this? Was the trajectory of the asteroid shifted from this impact or was that not exactly what this mission was out to do? No, so, so this is the main, yeah. the main motivation. We don't know yet. Okay. We know in a matter of days, okay. weeks maybe. Whether the Earth is saved. Yeah. We need that dust, uh, a cloud of dust to spread away, to dissipate, okay. uh, in order to to carefully measure the change in the in the orbit. It's not so much. It's not like we are moving right. it uh, millions of kilometers <laughs> away. Yeah. It's only a little bit. So this is why we should be careful in our uh, in our uh, observations. Uh, but we also study the material that. Uh, uh, leaves the leaves the asteroid is the material inside similar to the material outside on the surface the structure of the object you can see in those images how the asteroid is built of many yeah. small rocks glued together <laughs> only by the weak force of gravity not so much sand there not so much a uh, regolith uh, space sand so we, we are learning all this stuff in addition to our main goal of planetary defense we got on the screen here as you mentioned this sort of Pen ultimate image uh, from DART right before its impact here. So you do get a good up close look at the surface of this asteroid. Fascinating. Yes. I, I can only imagine the things, the, the way that your eyes are looking at this and your, your tools, your instruments. Uh, how substantial of a victory is this, though? In terms, I mean, we've seen previous missions successfully land things on asteroids, intercept them, sort of uh, fly out and meet them. What was new in this mission, and, and especially in terms of potential planetary defense? So it's the first time that uh, this is the main motivation. So stuff have been crushed, or, or spacecraft, yeah. spacecraft uh, crashed on the moon, on uh, even even on in the comet. Uh, but the main goal here is to push the asteroid to change its course, and for that you need a special amount or uh, enough amount of mass and velocity. So like for the first time, we put enough. Um, mass and velocity in order to be able uh, to do it. Um, the spacecraft is, uh, or not the spacecraft, sorry, the asteroid is really, really small, 160 meters uh, wow. side to side. Wow. And uh, it's um, Fascinating. a challenge. Yeah. <laughs> oh, such a small... Uh, Seven million uh, miles away to hit this yes. soccer field's you know, size asteroid. Remarkable. Exactly, even wow. more, because the, the spacecraft moved actually much more than than uh, this uh, distance because it was launched uh, like uh, 10, uh, 10 months ago. Uh, such a tiny target, such a tiny impactor, and yet the NASA uh, succeeded once again. Now the challenge is on us, the, the astronomers, uh, when we try to learn more and more uh, details from this, uh, from this yeah. asteroid, 
but from much farther distance, as you said, uh, <laughs> seven million miles away. Fascinating, and thank you for the research and work you're doing for the betterment of all of us here. Dr. David Polishuk oh, yes. uh, coming to us from Weizmann Institute's Observatory. Thank you so much for your time.